In this video, in my first in a series of percentages, we're going to start by looking at what a percentage of an amount is and how we calculate it. First, let's discuss what a percentage is. Let's take, for example, 20%. Well, the word percent quite literally means out of, per, cent is 100. So out of 100. And if you look, 100, you get the percentage symbol. And actually, if you put it on its side, it gives you the divide symbol. So it becomes out of 100, and we take the percentage as 20. So 20% 20 means 20 out of 100. Or if you simplify the fraction down, 1 out of 5. 34% means 34 over 100, and so on. We can use this to find percentage of an amount if you don't have a calculator. Let's start with an easy example. Let's say that we wanted to find 10% of 70. Well, 10% as a fraction is 10 out of 100, and we're trying to find it out of 70, so I'd multiply by 70. Now, either you can divide by 100 and times by 10, which is absolutely fine. So 70 divided by 100, we move the decimal place back twice. I'd get 0 0.7, and we times it by 10, and that would give me 7. However, an easier way of doing it when you can is to know that 10 out of 100 is 1 out of 10. So actually, you can just do 70 divided by 10, which is 7 as well. This works every single time, as long as the fraction simplifies. So if you had 15% of 150, well, 15% will do 15 out of 100 times by 150. If I simplify the fraction down, I can divide by 5. So I get 3 out of 20 times by 150. If I'm going to divide by 20, if you divide by 10, you get 15. Divide by 2, I get 7.5. So I'm doing 3 times 7.5, which is 22.5. Alternatively, you can do 150 out of 100, which is 1.5, times by 15, which again will give you 22.5. There's multiple different ways of finding percentage of an amount. Without a calculator, another way of doing it, if this isn't a nice set of numbers, is like this. Let's say we have 13% of uh, 72. What I can do is I can start by finding 10%. 10% of 72 would be 7.2 because I divide by 10. 1% would be 0 0.72. And then what I can do is I can times that by 3. So if I do 3 times 0 0.72, I get 2 0.16. So therefore, 3% is 2.16. Now, if I add 10% and 3% together, I do 7.2 plus 2.16. That will give me 6, 3.9. I get 9.36, which is 13% of 72. In exactly the same way, let's say I wanted to find 24% of 81. I'll start by finding 10%, which is 8.1. And therefore, 20%, I can just double it, and that gives me 16.2. 1% will be 0.81. And 4%, if I times that by 4, I get 3.24. Finally, to make 24%, if I simply add the 20 and the 4% together, 24% will be 16.2. 3.24, don't forget to line the decimal places up properly, add them together, I get uh, 44.91, so 19.44. Now, if you have a calculator, it's even easier. So let's say I wanted to find 27.5% of 135. What I can do is I can do 27.5 divided by 100 or convert it straight to a decimal. It's the same thing. 0.275 times 135. So I get my calculator and I type in 0.275 times 135 and that gives me 37.125. So there's multiple different ways of doing it depending on how easy the percentage is. If it's a nice easy percentage, I recommend just doing it in your head. 
um, or just dividing in, uh, and simplifying the fraction down. If it's slightly more complicated and you don't have a calculator, find 10%, find 1% and multiply as appropriate. If it's not nice but you do have a calculator, just do it straight away on the calculator by converting to a decimal.